What is up everybody and welcome to today's video. For those of you that are new to the channel, my name is Zach. This is SC Fish Keeping. I appreciate you stopping by. Please hit that subscribe button down below if you have not already and a special thank you to all of my members tuning in to this video. Today we're going to talk about something super special. If you've been with the channel for a little while or even if you're new, you might have noticed I have a soft spot right, right here, right in the old heart for animals that require a little bit of extra care and might have some special needs. I mean, I have quite a few of them now, whether it's my melanistic Florida Gar who has no eyes, one of my uh, goofy looking deformed tiger shovel nose, there's this beautiful flower horn with no tail. I even have a shovel nose sturgeon who only has one eye and an extremely crooked bill. So like I said, you might know, or at least now you know, I have a soft spot for animals with some sort of deformity, oddity, or special needs. One of the things you might not know about me, however, is I'm actually terrified of snakes. Or at least I was, right up until I got this guy, my normal ball python. About a year and a half ago, I decided, hey, people love making you watch fish videos. I bet your channel would blow up if you started making snake videos, too. My new pet is a ball python. So I bought a snake for YouTube, which is an absolutely terrible reason to buy a pet. Never buy a pet just because you think it'll get you views on YouTube. But since then, I've grown to love snakes. I have such an amazing appreciation for these animals. And obviously this guy is doing very well. I mean, I got him as a baby and here we are almost two years later. But today's video combines my love of snakes, my love of animals with special needs who need that extra love and care, and a local subscriber who reached out to me and said, hey, I got something special for you. I received a message on Instagram from a man named John. John said he's been following the YouTube channel for a while and he knows that I have a thing for animals with special needs. He said he recently bred some animals and one of the babies had a special need that he thought I would absolutely love. He wanted to see if I would give it a good home. I said, tell me more. After emailing back and forth for a while, we jumped in our cars and each drove about two hours to meet at a very, very special location. Here, we are actually picking up this special little critter at a Walmart, but not like we're going inside the Walmart to pick it up. We're just meeting in the parking lot over there. This is the guy. He drove about two hours just to uh, make this happen for me. So uh, go ahead and introduce yourself. My name's John Boshin. And uh, you got snakes. I got snakes. <laughs> if we're gonna simplify it. Uh, so I'm gonna actually, you sent me a couple pictures. So I'll put the pictures of your, your big boy and girl. This yep. is your first time. This was, my, boas, right? yep, this was my uh, first go at a, at a litter of boas. I um, was expecting 12, maybe 16 at the most, and ended up with uh, 26 total. But then there's there's this little guy, and there's something kind of special about this one. I haven't, I haven't told him, I was gonna let you do it. So right. let's see. Well, this little guy, we have named him Blinken. Ah, thank you, Blinken. Because I am pretty sure he is blind in both eyes. What makes, what makes you think that? Uh, I mean, the eyes, when he was born, they just had this uh, cloudy cloudy appearance to them. They just didn't look normal from any of the other ones that I've seen. Yeah, and you can kind of even see it just right here. That sun is, you can tell they're kind of that grayish, cloudy blue. Yeah. And, and then sometimes with snakes, that's a sign of like shedding. But you said he just shed. He just shed two days ago, actually. So uh, he might shed out of it. He might not. But I'm, I'm just going with he's blind. but I have officially wasted too much of these lovely people's time just rambling about all things fish and snakes and stuff. So I appreciate you. I appreciate you meeting me out here. I appreciate you uh, trusting me with one of your, your first babies, but uh, definitely gonna go to a good home. So yep. thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Can you say bye? Perfect. Thank you. Thanks for the snake. You say hello, thank you. <laughs> So here is my new, focus on the snake, not me, blind red tail boa named Lincoln. I am in love. <laughs> Thank you. 
And so that brings us back to today. One month after receiving this blind baby red tail boa from John, his wife, his daughter, which she was adorable. She ended that little clip just perfectly. For the last month, he has been actually in this little tote, kind of a quarantine tub on my messy desk. But uh, he has been in this tub. That is not where he is gonna stay. I'm gonna show you the, uh, the upgraded home that I, I, I was fortunate enough to get for him. But I wanna show you where he's at. He's just in this little plastic tote. You can see I've drilled a bunch of holes in there and then there's some in the lid as well. He's got his water dish. He's got a little kind of branch to climb on because boas do like to be up off the ground uh, at times. He's got his hide and uh, he's got a little heat mat underneath there hooked up to a, a thermostat to keep him nice and warm. But he has been doing absolutely great. Let's see if we can get him out here. He has been an unbelievable experience for me to have such an interesting animal uh, the strength in something this small as he uh, kind of grips onto my hand here is amazing and he is completely different than the ball python. The ball python hardly moves when you hold him but Blinken here is just super curious and he's always moving around. The interesting thing about him being blind is I mean you can tell he just kind of feels his way around and he's always looking for the next thing to grab onto. But every once in a while he'll like go upside down or kind of just look off to the distance and stuff and you can just tell he he cannot see. Now, the thing about his eyes, this is kind of what I was talking about when he just, he kind of goes upside down and just drifts off into the distance. But talking to John, there's a couple different thoughts behind what's going on with his eyes. It could be like a genetic thing that happened when he was developing before he was born where like, some scales grew in behind the eye and that makes it so he can't see. It could also be something like with a shed that got stuck and will eventually grow out. So I don't know if he's gonna be blind permanently or if he will. So I don't know if he'll be blind permanently or if this is something that he could eventually grow out of. But it makes him super, super curious and he's very, very trusting or very needy and you know either way it just makes him really really fun to interact with but i gotta be honest one of the best parts about having not just this snake but my ball python as well has been being able to share these animals with both of my daughters hey she's cool on you ellen yeah. what are you, hey what are you girls holding after snakes yeah hey hey Bree, what do you what do you think about snakes and they, they, this one doesn't move, but that one moves. <laughs> that one moves a lot more than the other one. Yeah. But, uh, Adam, what do you think about Blinken? Um, Blinken's good. He's good? Mm -hmm. Is he so sweet? Yep. Yeah. Do you girls love snakes? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and we know, do you move really fast or do you, uh, treat them carefully? Carefully. Carefully. And we try not to scare them. Right? Yep. You guys make great video. I think you're sleepy and I don't want to put the snakes back. <laughs> you don't want to put them back and you think he's sleepy, huh? Being able to provide these experiences for my girls where they can handle some of these animals, they learn about them, they're not afraid of them, that's just been super rewarding and having both of these, which are very, very different snakes, has just been very cool for me to be able to kind of share with them the differences and stuff. But uh, do what do you think? Should we, should we put them back? No. no. Not yet. All right, hold on. Six and a half hours later. So eventually I did get the snakes back from the girls. I had to promise that we could get them out later. But that again, it just proves my point that I'm trying to make here. I was terrified of snakes until just like two years ago. That's because I never got to interact with them or be around them or experience them when I was younger. So being able to share that with my girls, and as you saw, they just absolutely love them, is super Super cool to me. We are gonna go ahead and feed the little guy. I don't use live mice. We only do frozen thawed mice. It's much healthier and safer for the snake. And watching him take down his prey is very, very interesting. So if you don't like watching snakes eat, I'll put the timestamp that you can skip to here and catch the end of the video. But let's go ahead and take some of the stuff out of his cage and get the food.
So if you happen to skip the snake feeding part, I totally understand, but just know snake feeding is not graphic. It's so very interesting. The way they extend their bottom jaw out, the way they use their muscles to actually push the food down. But uh, Blinken is back in his little tote. He's got his dish in there, He's got or his water dish. He's got his hide, he's got a stick and a little temperature kind of humidity probe. But he is ready to get out of this little quarantine tub. I'm super excited to get that vision cage set up for him so we can really uh, experience the snake together. But I wanna know, uh, what do you guys think about having pet snakes? Have you ever had a pet snake? Would you buy a pet snake? Are you afraid of snakes like I was? Just let me know down in the comments what your experience with snakes is and if you like watching some of the snake content on my channel. Because I'm going to be honest, I'm making some more snake videos coming up and uh, it's not to try and blow up on YouTube, it's because I have a genuine love for these animals now and want to share that with you on my channel. But uh, thank you guys for watching this one. My next video will be a fish video, I promise, so if this one kind of threw you a little bit. We'll get back to the fish content soon. I got big projects and stuff like that. But thank you guys for watching this one. I hope you enjoyed it. As always, hit that subscribe button. If you have not, give the video a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. And remember, this is Zach with SC Fish Keeping, reminding you that every fish is a keeper. Or in this case, snake. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. See you soon. See you soon. Ha, 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 ha.